Hey guys, Matt and Ryan, here we are. We're back again at the Zebra Training Facility and we've got another exercise circuit for you guys to tackle today. Hey guys, it's Ashton Morgan here. I'm getting ready to uh, join this workout today. So uh, yeah, let's get it started. Let's go. Next exercise we have is the uh, one and a half rep uh, rear foot elevated split squat. So to get some more volume in for our quads and our glutes and our, and our leg muscles, we're gonna lower down, knee as low as we can to the ground, keeping that front leg almost to parallel. We're gonna extend up about halfway and then we're gonna go back down to our bottom position and then extend all the way back up to the top. So again, we're getting more volume as you're basically getting two reps for every one time that you're going down from the top position. So this one probably starting at five reps and then progressing up to 10 reps uh, as we get better with the exercise. All right. Next exercise we have is a sh shoulder elevated single leg hip bridge. So we're working on a little bit of balance and stability component through the core, but really working the glutes here. So we're gonna put our, the chair just at the bottom of our shoulder blades. Then we're gonna start off in our tabletop position, 90-90, lifting one leg up uh, into the air uh, as Ryan's showing here. We're then gonna lower down our hips uh, almost to the ground. We don't wanna touch the floor. They're gonna really use the glutes to extend back up. We wanna try and make sure at the top of the exercise, we get into this flat position. So knee, hips, and shoulders are all in alignment. With this exercise, probably starting up at five reps. And if you get really good at this, you can probably progress all the way up to 15. Next exercise we have is the straight leg sit up, but this time we're gonna go with the five second eccentric. So with the five second eccentric, we're gonna come all the way up nice and fast. So to be able to one second, two second movement on the way up, press the book up above the head. Then we wanna slowly lower down about five seconds or even more if you can. So when we're doing this, imagine you wanna let each piece of your spine touch the ground one at a time as you go down. So you're gonna really just start to curl your stomach as you get towards the ground. And we're just gonna lower everything down as we go. Press the book back up ahead and lower all the way back down. You'll get a lot of stress through your stomach muscles and your abs doing this exercise. So we're looking at somewhere between five to 12 repetitions uh, as we're doing the five second eccentric straight leg setup. Okay, next exercise we have is a one and a half rep push up. So we're gonna lower all the way down to the ground. We're gonna come halfway up. So you're extending that elbow to about 45 degrees. We're gonna lower back down to the ground and extend all the way up. So again, just trying to get some more volume in, trying to make the exercise a little bit more difficult as we become more proficient at the movements. So on these ones, probably gonna be able to start between six to 10 reps. And then some people might, might be able to extend out to doing as many reps as possible during out their sets. So with this one, it's gonna be a little bit more shoulder dominant and a little bit more dominant to the upper chest. So same as our one and a half rep push up, we're just gonna lower down, come halfway up. So elbows are about 45 degrees, all the way back down to the floor, then extend back up. Gonna be using the same rep, rep scheme as well. So starting off between six to 10 reps and then going up to sets of as many as possible. Okay, next exercise we have is a single leg RDL. So with this one, we're gonna need a weight in our hands. So we're using the book here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on one leg. So Ryan's standing on the left here. We're gonna hold the weight between both hands and then we're gonna extend the right leg out behind. So when we're doing this exercise, the biggest key is we wanna keep a nice flat spine, don't let the hips rotate and get that leg out nice and straight behind. What we don't wanna see happen is the hips rotate and open up. We wanna make sure we're really targeting that hamstring and the glute of the leg that's on the ground. So with this exercise, probably starting off between five to six reps and extending somewhere up to 12 repetitions. I hope everybody had a good workout today. Um, I'm nominating Justin Portillo to participate in the, uh, the next circuit, um, you know, everybody stay safe. Hope to see you guys soon.